All right, welcome back. This week, while I'm painting, I want to talk about a few things that I'm doing that have helped me start sharing art again and finally get over the fear of sharing. As always, a quick disclaimer, I'm not some expert on getting over fears or anything I talk about, I'm just sharing my experience. Also, there's timestamps down in the description if you want to skip around. So, the fear of sharing art is something that I've struggled with since I first started learning to draw and paint. And I assumed that if I just shared enough, over time the fear would go away and that would be that. So I started sharing things and I was actually so afraid of showing my art that I chose a different name to post under online because I didn't want anybody to find it. It was a nickname that my parents gave me when I was a kid. I used that name for a while but I was still too afraid people would find it so I chose a completely random name which is where the name Wink came from. I posted on Instagram every once in a while and slowly built up some consistency. But as time went on, I realized that this fear wasn't going away and it was actually getting worse. Every time I would go to share something, I'd instantly start feeling really nervous. I'd look at what I was going to post, compare it to my favorite artists, compare it to how good I wanted to be, and I would just think, this really, really sucks. And if I post it, everybody's going to know it sucks. This was really exhausting and made it unsustainable. So I knew the first thing I needed to do was change the way I was viewing things to take some of that weight and tension off. After spending some time thinking about it, I came up with a way of thinking that made it much easier to create and share things. The change was to view anything I created as a step in the process rather than the end result. So if I do a painting and I don't think it's good enough, that's okay because it's not the end result it's just one of many paintings on the way to getting better. And this mindset was the way I decided to view sharing art as well. So even if I put it out there and it sucks, and everyone thinks it sucks, that's okay because it's just one step in a long journey. And I actually really like this mindset because it means that you get to see a transformation, which for me is so much more interesting than just finding something you like which is finding something that you like and then being able to look back and see that this wasn't something they were born with, this was something they worked at and earned over time. So that was the first step, viewing everything I did as part of the journey, not the end result, as cheesy as that sounds. So the second thing I did was try to take the pressure off, because even though I was thinking about things differently, I still wanted to stack the deck in my favour if you like, to ease some of that tension and make things as easy as possible. And this is actually one of the many reasons I decided to choose to share on YouTube and do the voiceovers. If I just shared the time lapse or a picture of the painting on its own, I feel like that's putting all of the emphasis on the painting by itself. But because I've got the voiceover and there's more going on, it sort of distracts you a little bit. And if I'm not happy with the painting, there's a voiceover you might enjoy, so I'm not putting all my eggs in one basket. Instead, it's just a part of something else, rather than having to stand on its own. The other thing I did to take the pressure off was decide to not have to do a finished painting every week. Instead, I decided to share my paintings that I do purely for the sake of practice and exploring different ideas and techniques. As long as I'm showing up and putting something out there, I'm making progress. I could focus on getting better over time, rather than trying to do something to the absolute best of my ability right now. Alright, so the final thing that really helped me was thinking about why I want to share in the first place. I've been doing this whole art thing for a while, and after I reached a certain level of competency, something started to feel a little bit off. I could never quite put my finger on what it was. But as I started making these videos, I started to figure it out. Before the start of this year, I was putting in all of this effort and creating paintings and trying to get better. But at the end of the day, they were all either getting destroyed or sitting in a pile never to be seen by anyone. And I realized that by doing this, even though I have all these paintings, I wasn't really contributing in any way. But by sharing something and putting it out there, it at least opens up the possibility for it to have some positive impact. So even if I share something and nobody sees it, at least it's there to be found and potentially be enjoyed, rather than just sitting in a pile where I can pretty much guarantee nobody is ever going to see it. Looking at it this way helped so much because it doesn't matter if what I do gets seen or if anyone likes it, I'm still actively contributing, rather than sitting on the sidelines out of fear. 
So those are the mindset shifts and the things I've done to help me get over my fear of sharing art. It feels really great to be able to put things out there without feeling all of this tension and I'm actually excited to share more things. I'd love to know if this is something you've had to deal with and if there's anything you've done that's helped. So let me know down in the comments. As far as painting goes this week, I've been pretty busy with extra work so I've not had many big blocks of time that I could paint in. So it's just been a little bit here and there when I could squeeze it in, which has been a little bit frustrating, but after this week I'll have some more time again so I'm looking forward to that. That's it for this video, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please consider dropping me a like and subscribe if you want to know when my next video comes out. Take it easy.